Uh, this is a video on exporting and importing operations. I have here a program where I created uh, for a quarter 20 tap tall. I've got a spot drill operation here and a drilling operation and a tapping operation. The idea is the next time you have to program a job you don't want to have to create these all over again. So once you get them created you can right click in the white space of the ops manager and you can go over to export. It's going to want to export it into the mill inch operation library. I recommend that you create a different library so it takes you to your public document shared x9 mill operations folder. We're going to add in here it wants a new name we're going to call it tap and we'll call it tapping and we'll hit save. And then I'm going to give it a group name. I'm going to call this quarter 20 tapping. And it's going to ask you which operations do you want to export. It'll list all of the ones in your ops manager. You only put a check mark on the ones you want. So those are the ones that I want to export. I do not want to output the geometry with it because it's going to be different geometry in the next one. So we'll hit uh, the uh, export button. It comes back says that's been successful and then just red X out of this. So next week, next month, you go to program another job that has a quarter 20 tap toll. I've got another file down here. Instead of programming all those ops individually, you can just do a right click. You can say import and go back to the library you created. There it is, tapping ops. And I, I want to put in all of those. I'm going to click on the group name. I do, I'm not going to have it create new speeds and feeds. Um, you can have it align it to a different construction plane if uh, I did everything in top. Uh, if you had a horizontal and you're working on a different plane, you could probably bring it in on a different plane. Don't need to bring any in, in any geometry because we didn't save any anyway. So that's all fine. So just go ahead and hit import. And it says, do you want to add that group name? Yeah, sure, that won't hurt. And it says it's been successful and you can exit out. So there they are, but they don't have any geometry. So what we can do is left click on geometry, OK this message, right click in the window, say add points. I'm going to flip over to entities and I'm going to pick my three circles, one, two, three. And then to get, the, get them down there, I'm just going to right, hold down my right mouse button on this geometry, drop it on this geometry. I'm going to say replace. And when it asks you to retain the depths, always say no. And then I'm going to take that first one and drag it down on this one, replace retain them, no, and then just regenerate. And now you have your drilling and tapping that quick on uh, another part. The only thing that might really change might be the depth of the drilled hole in the tap. Uh, you can always go into parameters and, and tweak your linking parameter page uh, for different depths. Uh, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.